In certain places, we had up to three feet of water. Pretty much everywhere else, we had about a foot. The damage is severe, and we're rolling up our sleeves to be able to get back open. What's been lost is that opportunity to create the excitement and passion for what science can be for young people. The 500,000 children that visit us annually, the teachers who learn from our educators have no science center to go to. With the pandemic, we were closed for 16 months, open for two wonderful, glorious months, and then we were hit by Hurricane Ida. Although NYSA is once again closed to the public, we are continuing to do all the work we do to deliver our fundamental mission of making science available and accessible to everyone. Our education programs are being delivered out in the schools, sometimes at colleague institutions or virtually. We're continuing to do our important R&D work and our youth programming has once again pivoted and they're making videos that we can send to schools. They're having conversations with STEM professionals. They're exploring career pathways. Of course, opening the doors again is gonna require us to have resources and financial support, working with our partners in the city, our many elected officials, and our supporters across the board. We will recover from this as well. We are New York City's Science Center, and that means we're tough, we're resilient. So even a flood of the magnitude that we experienced in this building is not gonna knock us down. We've done it once. We'll do it again, and we will make this place stronger, better, more vibrant than ever. We're New Yorkers, it's what we do.